hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a book search application using google books api version 3 in react so this is the interface of this application if i just enter anything here let's suppose javascript and click on the search button you will see that a list of books will appear here on the screen and if i click any individual book it will open its link inside google books you can see that you can just read the book or you can get more information about the book how much price is the book so it can it is valid for every book out there you will see that so for this i am using google books api so this is the api let me just show you this is the endpoint let me just show you the json response which is coming back from the api let me just copy paste this endpoint inside another window here so here you just need to provide your api key so this can be easily be found out if you go to google developer console and create a new project and then inside it just create your api key let me just copy my api key and provide this and also just change the title to let's suppose uh, this is my title you can see that change to javascript and enter here so you will see that guys this is a json response which is coming back from the api total items is 1527 you can ha have the pagination component inside your application to display all these books but i will be displaying only 40 books at a time here you will see that this is the buy link if you click this link you will be going to the buy link here you can buy this book from this link so all sort of information is available in this json response title is there authors is also there publisher date publisher all this stuff is there and we will be parsing this response and displaying this information inside our application now to get started i am using a online ide for my react application so just go to google and type here code sandbox so the first link which appears here just click this link and here you just need to log in with github to create a new account i have already created one so just create sandbox here and click the react language and it will create a boilerplate react application for you and we are making x making use of axios to make a uh, get request to the api so just here click on add dependency and add this axios here so click it and it will install it in the background and apart from that we also need bootstrap so just copy paste the cdn of the css and uh, go back to your project and go back to the public folder go to index.html and right here paste it your cdn so we have already copy pasted it you can see that now close this file and go back to index.js and now we just need to import the axios that we installed import axios from so let me just have the large window so that you can see from axios so we have installed this inside axios here you can see that now we are successfully importing it now we just need to make a simple form of bootstrap in order to search for the books so here i will just delete all this stuff here from this and instead i will be having a div which has a class of container it's a bootstrap class so inside this we will be having our form inside this we will be having a div which which has a class of form group so inside this we will be having input type of text and the class name I will also give a class name to it which will be input control and uh, placeholder text I will also give that is uh, search for books and auto complete I will be initializing it to off that's it so these are the parameters so you will see that guys this is the input field that is ready here for us and now we just need to have our button here also so right here after that we will be having our button so button class name i will initialize it to btn btn danger so this is a bootstrap class and the label will be search so you will see that guys it is coming here so type will be submit so i think that i have not saved that change here so that is why it is not reflecting the change so just click on save here and go back to index.js and also click on save here so now you will see that our button is ready here this is a bootstrap button 
and now I just want some space from the top position so I will just add a margin from the top here so inside this I will add a empty which stands for uh, margin top so inside this class name attribute I will type here margin top 10 that's it so it will have some margin from the top position so if I refresh this and if I open this let's suppose in, inside another browser window so this is my live app link anyone can see it you can see that search for books so I think that I have made a mistake in some of the syntax that I have initialized let me just see what is the syntax uh, you can see that guys uh, div class name is equal to form group and the form control sorry this is a form control so I just need to initialize here form control not input control so just initialize input control form control and now if I refresh it you will see that change happening here so you can see that this is our input field and this is the button here and now we just need a heading here just above the form here h1 so book search application book search app something like this so you can see that now if I refresh it now you can see that guys this is a heading and this is the input field and this is a button now we just need to bind some events inside it so right here in this input field I need to bind the event of on change so when the value of this input field changes this method will fire which is handle change this method I will create and also on submit of the form also so just here in the form tag initialize on submit so when the form submits we need to handle this by the help of this function handle submit so we will create this form here right here at the top first will be function handle change so it takes the event object and second one is the handle submit it also takes the event object and now we just need to set some events so state variable so right here inside it we will first of all set uh, a books let's suppose which books the user is searching so this is an appropriate method to set that book and we are using hooks for that so use state it provides the initial value for the book let's suppose this is empty the second value for the result I will be storing this inside this so set result again I will be using use state so this time this will be a array empty array so just initialize it to this so now we will also have a api key variable so api key the function will be set api key and the initial value i will initialize it to my api key so just here go to console.developers.google.com and create a project and just copy paste your api key it is very simple to create a api key just create on uh, your a create credentials and click on api key and it will create your api key and now you can just use it so just copy this api key and go to your project and paste it here so this is your api key now we just need to get the value that the user types on this input field which will be happening inside handle change so we will be declaring a variable which will be const book and I will be getting the value by event dot target dot value and then I will initialize it to set book and I will initialize it to book so this will initialize this value to this variable book and now when we uh, submit the form we can just console log this value first of all we just need to prevent default call this method event prevent default it will be restricting the form to auto submit and now we can just console log the value of book this is our state variable now if I just save this changes and go back to the application and uh, right click in inspect element and go to console here if I type any kind of value here JavaScript let's suppose and if I hit submit button you will see that this value is printed out in the console now we are successfully fetching the value which the user types in this input field 
now we just need to make a post request to this route here so go back to application here and now we just need to instead of printing out in the console we just need to make a axios request here get request and uh, let me just show you the this is the endpoint you can see that just copy this and paste it in your application and here you will provide your api key so concatenate my api key variable here and also we don't want this filter attribute so we will delete it and instead we will concatenate to this queue parameter this is search i will concatenate our book that's it and also one additional parameter i will add that is of maximum result so here we just need to write max results so this will be equal to 40 so this is a maximum limit that you can retrieve how many books at a time so i will initialize it to 40 so 40 books will be retrieved and after that this returns a promise so we just need to handle this promise so data is returned here this will be an arrow function and now we just need to console log the data just to check if the data is coming or not now if i refresh it go back to inspect element go to console if i again type javascript here if i click search here hopefully you can see that guys a json response is coming back and inside this data field we have got 40 items you can see that this is the array so inside every book item we have some information that we can retrieve and display inside volume info we have the title of the book authors categories image links also this is a thumbnail of the book the language all the stuff so now we just need to print this stuff inside our html so now i will go back to the application first of all i will be setting this to the method which will be calling set result and i will be setting to data dot data dot this is a i think that we just need a array here so inside this result we have a data field and we have this items array so we just need to initialize this data dot data dot items so if i just console log this so you will see that this as an array of 40 items so we are just initializing it to the result variable that we have declared in our state here using the hooks method that is set result so as this is an empty array when we initialize a get request a 40 items will be there inside in this result array now if i just refresh it and again type javascript here and click on search you will see that 40 this is an array of 40 items and we are just printing out now we just want to print out some information which is contained inside volume info first we want the this uh, image links and we just want to print out the thumbnail so we will just go uh, right here at the bottom here after the form and we will be using the books array oh sorry result so the ma uh, array is uh, is located inside this result variable so this is kind of a array and we will be using a map function so dot map so inside this we will use an index variable of book so this will be an arrow function so inside this we will first of all having an image tag and the source attribute will be equal to the book dot volume info dot image links dot thumbnail so this is a syntax to get the to retrieve the thumbnail of the book and now if i just close this tag here image tag i also want to give a alt attribute to it this is required so alt is equal to the title of the book which is book dot title that's it now if i refresh the application guys you will see that we are retrieving the thumbnails of the book if i write here javascript click on search so you will see that guys we are retrieving 40 thumbnails at a time here 
you can see that now I just want to bind a on click if I click this book I want to display the book URL in a new window so for that I will be wrapping this inside a anchor tag so href attribute will be equal to uh, book dot I just show you the response here if I just inspect element and go to console here let me just show you this is a individual book in order to retrieve the link we just need to go to volume info and inside volume info we have this uh, I think that this is preview link you can see that here you can just uh, get the book here preview link so I will use this syntax here so book dot volume info dot preview link So this is a full uh, link to the book here now I, I will close this and wrap this inside this image tag to make it clickable so now if I save the changes and if I reload the application and again type JavaScript here So now you can see that guys this is clickable now if I click it it will be redirecting it to the official book website here inside Google Books and here you can just read the book or you can just print get the print out of this book or buy this book in order to uh, just open this in new tab we just need to have one attribute which will be target is equal to underscore blank so this will open it inside new window so just save these changes and if you again type for the book search so now this will open this in new tab here so you can just do this for every book so now if I just change this to let's suppose PHP so it will retrieve the PHP books so thanks very much guys this is a short little google book search application using google books api in react thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button and also tapping the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much